Well, day two in uh, Hua Hin. Just had a nice walk along the beach in the water, a bit of a swim before. Sranya's going to have a go on a horse or a pony. Never been on a horse before. The camera might be moving up and down, but I'm in the uh, walking in the ocean, so sort of, bouncing against my legs. Everybody's doing okay back at home, UK. Good. It's so hot, beautiful. Sorry, I think yeah, it's 95 degrees, 97. The water is absolutely beautifully warm. I know how cold it is back in the UK. Well, you know, like I was saying. You know, a few weeks ago, don't just be, you know, the guys, and I don't just be staying in your flats and your houses, you know, come over. And that's the same for the women, you know. You know, there's uh, a lot of single women come over here and go with the ties, you know, they look after them. You know, a lot of retired, retired women come over here, single and that, you know. The weather's hot every day, every day. 365 days a year it's red hot. You know. Oh. Saran, you're looking beautiful as ever. Yeah, you could live over here on a British pension, you know, I've said it before, British pension's about, what, £800, and, uh, you know, you can easily live off that, easy. Yeah, get a condo for maybe 8000 about two hundred pound a month, easily. Then your food, a couple of drinks if you want. Yeah, easily, easily live off an pe English pension here. Just have a bit of money on the side for the health and for your visas to renew every year. You know, and if you're over fifty, you know. Uh, I know people where you can get them uh, for 16,000 bar, which is um, 400 pounds. Uh, they will get you a, a year's um, retirement visa then, that's it, you don't have to worry about it for a year. Then every 90 days you just report online, showing where you are, you know, your address and that, that's all. But yeah, you know, 
come over on your on your uh, one month, thirty days uh, visa, and if you're over fifty, you know you just contact this guy. Within ten days, you've got a, a visa for a, a retirement visa for twelve months, and that's it. Then you just come in and just enjoy yourself. Yeah, you know, and if you've only got the eight hundred pound a month. Easily live off it, easily. Yeah, it's not going to cover you for any health, dental, you know, doctors, no. And it won't cover you for visas. But if you just prepare for that, you know. You know, you, you, you couldn't come over here with a plane, you know, with a plane ticket and just your £800 pension, you know. you Alright, once you've paid your visa, you know, you fly over and your visa make sure you have a return flight for a month to keep uh, immigration and customs happy and then once you've done your visa and, it, and even if you're not if you're not 50 it doesn't matter you can get a, a 12 month visa for learning Thai you can get a 12 month visa for learning how to Thai box, yeah, you can get a visa to learn out a Thai box. You can get a 12 month visa to volunteer, you know. The hardest one would be the learning the language for 12 months, you know. So, you want to be, you know, doing that. That's if you're under 50. You can buy a 10 year visa where they leave you alone. That costs you about fifteen thousand pounds. And like you say, if you're over fifty, you just come over, get a retirement visa. When I first came here, it was very hard. It was still uh, COVID, and it, I still had to learn, you know, about a car, registering a car, registering a motorbike getting a visa but I know all that now you know so I you know anybody interested and you need to be in places like uh, Uhin, Patier where they've got the beach and the life and that if you're not bothered about the beach and you've got places like um, Bangkok and uh, all the other provinces if you want to live on 500 pound uh, a month then you'd go to the Isan where all the Thai women come from where they grow all the rice but it's a good life it, it is and you don't have to spend money all the time you don't you know you just do what we're doing now all right last night you know because it was our first night we went out went to an Irish bar and, you know had two big meals and that, that, right. that cost us 800 bar which is top of the scale to buy but the price I tell you you go well, that's all right it's a lot more than that here so 800 bar is about 20 quid and you might be thinking yeah 20 quid for two big meals and a couple of drinks you know oh wow that's great but when you live here when you learn it you know you only want to be paying three or four hundred for two restaurant meals you, you, you know I remember 35 years ago 40 years ago going to Blackpool for a Saturday night bed and breakfast Two of us pay forty pound. No problem. Yeah, forty pound. I would not pay that now. Forty pound for one night. That's about eighteen hundred baht. No way in the world I would pay that. Because you don't need to. You can pay hundreds of pounds a night if you wanted to. But there's no need. Ten pound a night here is a good hotel. It's a good hotel. 
<laughs> it really is. And 200 pound a month will get you a good condo, you know. Anyway, that'll do us for now. See you later.